Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the instruction pipeline concept in advanced computer architecture. In the previous video, I explained about what exactly the pipeline is and I have given the definition of the instruction pipelining. Let's continue with this concept. I already said there is instruction pipelining, uh, you call it as it is a processor, instruction pipeline processor, which executes the different instructions, the different instructions that are present in a process, in a process, okay, in a, ta if a task is there, a process is there, in that process, a different instructions are there. So, these different instructions belonging to a processor in a different stages. If they are executing in different stages, then you call it as a concept of instruction pipeline. Let me explain you what exactly that you all know that instruction, right? Let's see the instruction form. Register. I opcode operand. So you already know this uh, instruction register 12, 14 and 15. Okay. So this is the instruction register. Right or wrong? Instruction register. So, this opcode operand is there. So, this opcode and operand are getting from the memory. So, memory means it's a RAM, whatever the RAM you are taking. The memory of RAM is divided into two types. One is the programmed memory will be there. Programmed memory and another part consisting of data memory. The complete RAM is divided into two parts, program memory, data memory. So, this program memory is a fixed, you can't delete this, okay. And you can erase the data and you can insert the data. So, whenever the power is switched off, these data will not be lost, but data memory will be lost. That concept, you already know that, but I am just recalling that concept, okay. So, program memory contains all opcodes. Opcodes means operation has to be performed like addition, subtraction, multiplication, move, store. These addresses, all these uh, opcodes will be stored in program memory. And the data memory consisting of operands. Operands means the values A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H like that. Whatever the values, temporary variables you are taking, those uh, values will be stored in data memory. This you are already known that. Okay. And coming to the I. I is whenever it is 0. You call it as a direct. 0 means direct addressing. And 1 means indicate indirect address. Means the processor. This is the instruction register. The processor is asking the uh, data. If it is getting the data directly from RAM means. in a, uh, Direct address means 0 will be there. Whenever 1 is there. It has to go to particular address. And there. Again, you have to go to another address. That is an indirect concept. This is also you know that. Okay. Now coming to this. So this is the instruction register. So each, each instruction in the process. This is a process. In the process, you are having a series of instructions that I already said. Instruction 1, instruction 2, instruction 3 like that. So each instruction will be stored in instruction register in this format. So that the processor can get the data and can it can execute the information. So this is the concept of instruction register. Now here, one more concept I want to clarify is instruction cycle. So instruction cycle means if suppose one instruction is there in the processor, if this instruction wants to be executed, it will be executed in an instruction cycle time. So, instruction cycle concept of fetch, decode, decision and execute and still based on your processor, based on your instruction pipeline processor, these instruction cycles can be increased. But fetch, decode, execute is a common and you can write decision and write back. So, many uh, cycles can be increased. So, here... These are all instruction cycles, fetch cycle, decode, decision and execute. So, each instruction will following these stages, these phases. First, fetching the data from memory, that is from the RAM. And then later we are trying to decode that. After decoding, they are trying to decision. Decision means whether, uh, suppose if I is equal to 0 means, if I is equal to 0 means there is no need to go with the decision. You, you are not supposed to go with the decision. Whenever the I is equal to 1, then we have to uh, select the decision. Okay, because decision directly goes to execute to state whenever it is 0. 
whenever it is 1 means you have to go to indirectly. So then the decision will be required. So this is just an introduction part of this instruction pipeline. In the next video, we will see the complete information like the techniques for improving the pipeline processor performance, the complete structure uh, of these concepts, uh, the instruction pipelining design will be co covered in the techniques for improving pipeline processor performance. So we'll see in this next video. Thank you.